two of them, Emma. Hey there, girl. Can I walk over there or do I have to crawl over? She's got a thing about me just walking around because I'm so tall. Hey there, girl. We're friends, right? Yep. Meow. See, you kind of scattered the litter around. There we go. Hey, kittens. We'll be doing the naming ceremony pretty quick. I'm going to give Mama some wet food. If you want to see Mama outside of the kennel, I have a second cam set up. If you're on a phone or tablet, I have an event for cam 2. On a PC, you can switch manually to it. Ooh, 4% battery. My phone. This replying to a text from my kitten dealer. Let me see about turning on that other light. Are you watching me? And if mom is okay with it, I want to scoop her litter box too. Yeah. Doesn't make much of a difference. <laughs> Let me see how it's situated. Oh, that's why. I have a board set up to keep kittens from climbing up and it's blocking the light. So I'll go ahead and take care of the litter box. Mama the bigger box. She's not a hard hard digger, but she's a digger. Yeah, that's wet food. I think I had that shortly. Some mama cats have a protocol that you have to follow. 
went around them. And yesterday the protocol was no standing. I had to be on her level. This seems to be a little more relaxed today. I let her have pretty much the entire day so far by herself because she was doing really well exploring the room. And she was tending to the kittens and I seemed to stress her out a little bit yesterday. She still has a protocol that moves slowly because you see how she's putting herself between me and the kittens. Oh, look at that belly. Sarge Marge of the Simpsons kittens, fosters, required that I enter the room, go to the exact center, sit down, and then feed her a can of wet food. If I did not follow that, she was swatting and hissing at me. And it took several days to figure out her protocol. This is a little keyboard I built for Rosemary of the Spice Kittens. She wanted her kennel to be divided in half. She needed a lip of some kind. That was her protocol. You like that? Okay, got Monty scene, that's good. Okay, let's see which one is the boy and which one is the girl. Pardon me. They're being modest. Hey, Mom, you want to go in there? Mama has, Mama Serafina has two extra toes on her front paws and one on her back. She has the obvious thumb that you can see, but then she has another small one in between. And she just farted. Oof.
Okay, this one here is the girl. This one here is the boy. Oh no, now you don't know who's who. <laughs> girl, right here. Okay, she's got two dark spots. Okay, her face is slightly darker. And so are her legs and tail. Whether or not that shows up on cam, it probably doesn't. <laughs> Mama likes the cheek rubs. Where are you going, boy? Okay. Look over, see the void. They'll climb up, look over, see that there's nothing below them because it's just black, and they'll back off. Okay, naming. Tabby boy, you have to excuse me, this one's kind of a doozy. Uh, his name is Lanfair Wagwan Dugo Gogori Churin Drab Will Land Silo Gogo Gooch or Niffler for short. <laughs> his name is Niffler. The mods were uh. Making a joke about making me say that long one. So I decided to do so. Uh, it's question was asked if the measers were brought in from another mom and we asked that same question too but they're pretty much the same size and it's unlikely we really have no history on them so the, our best assumption is they're all siblings of the same litter They came from Lewis Clark, or Lewis County, in Washington, to the Seattle Humane Society, and then the Perfect Pals. We have no history on them, other than that. Okay, looks like you get one eye. Are you just crusty? Their eyes are half open, but if they if they were two weeks old, which is what I where you going, boy? Make good decisions here. No, that is not a good decision. Turn around. Your mama's behind you.
But since people were, I was going to say last, but some people were talking about Fooper. There was another tabby here yesterday. Um, had was polydactyl like mom with the two extra claws. And uh, he developed a, a diaphragmic hernia, which is a hole in his diaphragm, about an hour after he got here. It was severe to the point where there was nothing we could do for him other than to help him cross over peacefully. And I'm thankful that it started here and not during the three days they were in transport because it would not have been an easy passing if it did. Okay. I think this is the boy because the tail is lighter. You smell your mama? The boy is a, currently a pirate with only one eye open. Yep, this is the girl. Okay, the girl is Okami. Pronounce, pronounce Ok Kami. O C C A M Y. And that's the one I'm petting right now. She has two eyes that are opening. Yeah, these two are Lalic Point Siamese's. What are you, what are you looking, boy? Hey, mama. Okay. Are you still the boy? Or are you the girl? <laughs> I looked away. Okay, this is the boy. The boy's name... Since he's not nursing yet... Is Billywig. Yeah, there's a wet spot. Okay, the names will be showing up in the video description in a few seconds. Someone was just whistling. <laughs> Are you falling asleep? You fell asleep, the tabby boy. Where did I get the names? They are, this, the theme is fan, um, fantastical um, critters or kittens, fantastical kittens, which is derived from the movie um, 
a fantastical be or fantastic beast and where you find them. And these are named after critters in that movie. Let's, yeah, let's refrain from giving nicknames because I'm ha I have a hard enough time remembering their names to begin with. <laughs> no nicknames yet. And if you decide on a nickname and the mods tell you not to use it, please honor their request. Because we actually have a little bit of a rules for nicknames. I think the girl will be darkening faster, faster than the boy, and their color, the colors are darkening every single day. So you should be able to tell them apart pretty easily soon. Colors can be tricky. Mama may not like them, like the last one who licked them off. I guess we could do the weigh in. Oh, he's grooming himself. It's a couple hours early, but Mama tends to only want me to be in here for a little bit, and then she's then she starts to get overwhelmed. I started weighing them in ounces yesterday because the scale was set to ounces and I didn't notice. So I'm going to continue that until I get the spreadsheet created, which will probably be tomorrow. This is a highly sensitive kitchen scale. It has four wood contact points that it uses. So it needs to be on a hard, flat surface. I'm going to potty them before weighing them, which which will likely affect their weights on the low end. So take that into consideration. I did not potty them yesterday because Mama, I didn't know if Mama would take offense. Potting the kittens before weighing them helps to get a more, more accurate weight so I'm not weighing their pee since their pee weight can be up to like two or three grams and berries. Oh, we got a full one here. This is a girl.
Just another full bladder. You are a pudgy one. Mom's a little unsure about this activity. That's why she keeps going in and out. Woo! Geyser! All done. Mom, what you do with my pen? I'm gonna be showing mom to go in and out through the pet house because the kittens will be escaping soon if I leave it just like this. But she's already gone up and through her by herself once. Oh, I'm sitting on the pen. Okay. Go ahead and do the tabby girl. I mean the Lalic Point girl. She was 11.39 ounces yesterday. Eleven point nine six. So that's a good gain for her. And remember, the gains will be affected lower because they weren't potty first yesterday. Okay, I lost track. I think this is the boy. Yep. Okay, he weighed 13.65 ounces yesterday. Blink. A very good gain. Okay. 
Okay, our little tabby boy is asleep. He weighed 14.52 grams, I mean ounces, yesterday. Hey, Niffler. 15.34. Looks like they gained roughly the same amount. Our girl was a little bit less, but that is actually expected. From the girl female kittens. Yes, the girl has darker points, and I believe if you can see their faces, she has both op both eyes are opening, where the boy currently has just one eye. They could be late bloomers in the eye department, or whatever. But we're going. We're assuming that they all came from the same litter. They probably gained the same percentage weight. You're nursing off the towel. Try this. It's more satisfying. I'm glad Mama lets me access the kittens because they're entering the phase where it's critical that they are socialized and inter or they interact with humans because that's what keeps kittens from turning feral. Did you trim your claws? Yep. I can hear Beatrice and the Kia zooming in the hallway. They really love having a whole house, whole upper floor. They haven't discovered the lower floor yet. But they like the extra zooming room. If you want to read more information on what happened to um, I forgot his name, the tabby boy who passed away yesterday, she Fwooper. That's it. Information and a link to the full thing is in the video description. stuck to your fur here. She's got a, claw, a rogue claw sheath stuck to what looks to be a skin flap on her foot. I wonder if that's your extra toe.
Yeah, this big extra claw you see, she has a tiny one between them. She's got two extra claws on her front. Just like Fooper. Mama is one and a half years old and was nine pounds on intake, which is a really good weight. Good solid weight. She seems to be okay with standing on my lap. Maybe she'll curl up in him one day. Bless you. No, let's not lift the can. You have a bowl right over here. We do not believe that Mama is a surrogate to the two measers. For one thing, their size indicates that they're the same age as our little tabby boy here. The size says two on um, three weeks of age. The eyes say two weeks of age. But physical size has more priority or trumps what the eye says because it could be just late bloomers with opening their eyes and that can be genetic so if their daddy was slow to open their eyes his eyes the girls would be the same, or these two would be the same Girl. Hey, girl. Now, with a recent litter, I had kittens that started to open their eyes at three days. So it's not, it wouldn't be unheard of for them to be late bloomers on the eyes. These are known as Lilac Point Siamese. And the boy is a macro tabby, which means he has tight stripes that are not, are, that are not broken. Mama is a broken macro because her stripes have breaks in them. She all, she's also a tick tabby which is a salt and pepper texture. Now, Perfect Palace had several litters of kittens come in yesterday, and they gave me like a trunk full of wet and dry food, quarter trunk. But they're running low on dry food now. If you go to perfectpals.org slash Amazon, it'll, go, it'll take you to the Amazon wish list. If you want to help support the shelter, you can do so, and you will have my thanks. girl
I'm gonna give mama another can of wet food and then step out. I'm gonna go take my Sportster and go buy the movie that these guys are based off of. I thought I had it, but I really don't. I don't. Fantastic Beast and Where to Find Them. The sequel comes out about the same time these guys will be up for adoption. Her ears are definitely darker than his. And they'll probably darken at a quicker rate. And what's interesting to note is these two would have been almost white, solid white, when they were born. And yes, you can also find the Amazon wish list for perfect panels in the video description below in the list of links section. But thanks to the fans who watch the Fosters, Perfect Pals have, has not had to buy food for their foster program, uh, I believe over three years, four years maybe. That means they can put that money towards caring for sick kittens like Fooper. Yeah, we're not going to DNA test, DNA test the kittens and then go, are you the father? Sorry, go back to sleep. Yes, donating food in Fooper's memory would be a great cause. If you go to cam two, you can see her rubbing up against my head. I'm still cautious around her because I don't know yet if she has any trigger triggers that would cause her to attack but it's like yesterday I was definitely cautious today I'm less so Like one trigger could be hearing other cats. 
And so far she seems to be okay with that. Okay, Mama, I'm going to stand up, okay? I'm going to get you some more wet food. I was not allowed to stand up in here yesterday. When I came in, I had to immediately drop down to the ground and crawl. slices and gravy. Yeah, she just growled when she heard the girls zooming down the hallway. Keeping her tummy happy helps keep her happy. Alright, so enjoy the kittens. Have a nice day. Nothing. Bees on the other side of the door.